So this investigation has taken place down in the south of England in Cornwall. We visited an asylum with a man named Mark Davies, who runs the channel Ghost Adventures of Cornwall. I've actually known this man, well, since the beginning of my channel, actually. Uh, he was very proudly my 1,000th subscriber, funny enough, but he's been there from the start. Hey man. Uh -huh. Hey, I was just letting you know I'm parked at the B and Q across from Mackey's because the parking lot's too full. Oh, uh, I will come over to you. All right, no worries. What car are you in? Uh, white Audi A4. Okay, mate. See you in a minute. All right, bye. Bye, bye. I don't know. If this is him, I've never seen him drive that vehicle before. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Sick ride you got there. Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Not bad. I didn't think you were going to make it. Yeah, no, I made it. Right. Yeah. Oh. So how far out is this place we're going tonight? Five minutes. Five minutes, that's it. Got five minutes in it, Eddie. Five minutes drive. Sweet. Then do you want to take two cars, one car? I mean, maybe two, because I don't know if I trust my car parked here for the next couple hours. Nothing's going to come in, mate. Right? I know, I just don't want them locking the gates over there or something. Uh, I'm at the road. Hi okay, Kaylee. Does, right. does it have alright parking? Alright parking? Yeah. All right. Parking? yeah. All right. Yeah. Well in that case, yeah, we'll just follow you five minutes up the road. No worries. Need some AT. Oh by the way, nice yeah, this is Kaylee. Kaylee, hi. This is Haley. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Alright. So we're back at some raw ghost hunting. Yeah. Sounds good. Can't wait. Yeah. So can I ask real quick, what, what was this place? Um, in the 18th century it was used as an asylum and then later it was used as a, a care home for people with dementia and things like that. Mm. And then it was uh, under, what was it? It was investigators, wasn't it, from the BBC? Yeah. Panorama? Yeah, Panorama. And they put staff in there and then they found out that they were abusing the patients, overdosing them on morphine and stuff. Oh shit. Uh, patients died in there as well. She was struck off the register. They were using them as prisoners, didn't they? Using them as prisoners, yeah. Just abusing them, beating them up, all sorts, starving them, not giving them drinks, not letting them go to the toilet. That sounds horrible. It's what like, horrible. What was the horrible. name of this place again? Clinton House. Clinton House. Yeah. Well, that sounds promising, I'm going to be honest with you, but sad, sad story. Yeah, yeah, the, the energies in there is it's crazy. But, um, find it for yourself, you know? Yeah. Uh, right, well, this looks fun. Oh, my God. So I it's take it. An easy way it's, out. it's easy. Easy way out. Easy way out. Just well, a full lake in. <laughs> gotta go through bushes. <laughs> oh. Oh, jeez. That's it. Right, there should be another black thing against the fence in there, Andrew. Have you got a flashlight? So if you put your hands to the left there, you should be able to go straight over. Yeah, this is a piece of piss. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, I can't see. Hold on. I was going to say, uh, do you want a flashlight? How far down is it? See so, yeah. it? How far down is it? Well, I'm... No, just <laughs> don't fall. Oh my god. 
Right. Do you want me to pass you the cap? No, it's probably not a good idea, is it? Hold on. There should be a black thing. Yeah, there is a step here. Pass me the camera then. Um. Right. Take. Do you want to take the the, the nose of it? That's it. Cool. <coughs> You're gonna go for it. Why didn't? <laughs> I've got the fucking choice. <laughs> This is the worst, my freaking torch. Has your torch just died? <laughs> okay, well, you only live once. Hold on. How far down is this? Not far. Oh my god, I hate being a shot. You like me, stop Oh! Did you fall? No. Right, Andrew, uh, can you put some light on this? Yeah, let me just... Uh... <laughs> Hold on, let me just fix this. Right, Thanks. it's not as bad as you think. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make a tip of myself. Get a leg over, you can sit partially on that board. <laughs> Babe, I'm like a solid half a meter off. Don't mind me. Right, do you want me to... Uh... Hold on, stay. <laughs> Let me put my bag down. <laughs> right. I'll just sit in some things turn up. Hello. Hello, officer. You don't mind me. If you, hey, you are literally three inches from the board. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't, hey, don't get permanently stuck here. Here, do you want, do you want up again? Do you want up again? Oh, there, you're on. Oh, I'm on, it, I'm on it. Now you just got to get a leg over. I'm absolutely, you know what, I love that. I can now see what this is my full time job. Do you know what? If one of you could actually get on that pillar and, and move my fat. I just left my, my fat. Yeah. My leg. Oh, you're a legend. Yeah. Just about. Don't get, your, don't get your ankles stuck. <laughs> I can't fuck it up. Are you fucking filming? Yes. I can kill you. Just don't fall, whatever you do. Yeah, there, we are. there you go. You. Now cre creep over and onto that, and then just jump down. There we go. Brilliant. That was easy. Very <laughs> easy. Completely, mate. <laughs> right, don't make this look easy, Hayley. You're not going to fall out, all right? <laughs> do you want me to carry that back, Kathy? Good. There you go. Oh, would you just wow. piss off? <laughs> nice and easy. This is my full time job. Oh, I know. And you can show me up. Congrats. <laughs> and there's the man of the hour. Oh my god. Wait for Mark to be flying now. Don't say that. At least it made me feel somewhat happier. We got to the other leg first. You're on, you're on. Oh That's it, well done. Oof. Brilliant. Hey. I think I was the fastest. Now, whose torch is this? <laughs> There you go. Nice. Right, let me just grab my bag. That wasn't too bad, was it? It's an Arbex. No, it was all right. It was funny though. It was funny getting Tara over, wasn't it? Did you just push my leg up a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> my fat ass. <laughs> it appears to be sad. So, how far up is it? Just up ahead. Oh, that was quick. Hello there. Do you have a good girl band Do you want to pass my own? Well, I've got close down. It's got close down for abusive yeah. patients. Um, if you look downstairs, you can see where it was almost like a prison. It's really fucking weird. Yeah, they used it as a prison as well. Spiders everywhere. Just grab that for me. Yeah, sure. Show. Thank you.
You might want to take your bag off. Got it? Oh, fair enough. And that is how it's done. Feel what? The abuse that took place here, I can just feel it all. It's like, imagine like it could be your mother, it could be your, your, your nan, and they were here, and you pay for them to come here, and they get starved, they get mistreated, abused, no toilet, no toiletries, called cons, twats, all sorts of things, you know? Smacked, punched, kicked. It's just crazy. It's not right. And I can just feel it all. Feel it. Right. Is it down here or anything to Oh, that's a weird vibe in here. Already getting cold chills. Yeah, like Temperature drop. Whoa, fuck that. Yeah. Whoa. Goosebumps. I got goosebumps. So right. Yeah, me too. I told you that. Weird. You said here last time. Yeah, I said we should have filmed it. They used to bring him down here. It's amusement. Is there a basement on this? Shower room. Where's the shower room? Sorry. Must be down here. Oh, Stephanie, oh my God. <laughs> yep. We felt shit in here. What was this bedroom for? This is where I've looked into it, and this is where they were like little dormitory rooms where they were drugging them and stuff and not letting them out. <gasps> that this bit down here, which kind of makes oh. sense to small rooms. Yeah. Yeah. In where? In there? Yeah. 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 Put them all in the group in the showers and beat the shit out of them. Oh wow. Oh yeah, there's a really dark energy in here. I can feel the pressure. You feel it, yeah? Yeah, there's a bed in here too. Is that? Yeah. Oh what the hell? Look here. I don't know who that is, but there's a photograph of somebody. Say anything on the back? No. He looks like an inmate of some kind, mm. or a patient. Yeah. Wow. Do not wash. Mm. It's crazy for a place so empty. It's got so much character to it. Yeah. So these would have been dormitories, bedrooms. Oh yeah. I know, I was going to say, this room just doesn't feel right, is it? No. This is well, it's 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 well, did you hear it, David? Yeah, that's what we heard last time coming from that way. It's horrible. Hmm. Sure, it wasn't me. I don't know. Was, no was it behind you? Because I went to like the that. right. No, it was after that. Oh, okay. It's sort of in there. Well, it's kind of a mess in here. Just be careful what you touch. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, there's needles. Yeah. Yeah, no, there's a lot of drug paraphernalia in here. And you do know with a lot of drug paraphernalia, it does come a lot of darkness. Come in here for a second, I want to show you something. Yeah. Right. Be very careful where you walk. There oh, are little syringes. And this is some people freebasing. 
So, smoking off a of foil. Some serious addicts come and hang out in here. That's crazy. So many needles to stash. I know. Oh my god. It's not good. Let's just make sure there's Definitely nobody here. Stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really. Whoa. I know. What was that? What the fuck? That's Look. just a lot oh of needles. It's like. Like I said, just be very careful where you step, because if that goes through, if that goes through your foot, yeah, through your shoe. Yeah. The craziest thing for me is I'm more afraid of those needles than I am. And then there's like a cross here, amongst all of it. This is really old. That horrible, horrible stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Prison stuff. Oh snap! Oh yeah, this is a proper swatter's hideaway. Yeah. How old do you think this stuff is, though? Um, when did we first come here? Hold this. Hold this. I'm gonna it, take. I'm gonna have a look at this. Be careful what you touch. Yeah. Was it a year ago? You reckon? I can't remember. Has it changed a lot since you've last been here? Half of them needles, no. Okay. It's a prison letter. Aww. I'm writing again as that other letter was a bit boring, sorry. I'm fed up today again. I just want to be in Spain. When I'm there, I'm so happy and I feel alive. Here, I feel dead. I'm gonna go over to our place every few weeks to help stop me getting so bloody depressed. This is such a dead, dull place. Why anyone would want to live here is beyond me. Dump. You should get out of here too. There's absolutely nothing for young people in this dump. Before you know it, you're 40 and still doing the same boring crap and having no life. Seriously, get it together and change your head into getting away. Channel your head into getting away. You're clever, you still have a chance. I have to leave England soon or I'll miss my chance too. I've brought up seven children and now I need to get away from here. Anyway, I fly out again on the 22nd of March. So if you want any backy, see Simon. Afterwards, I'm getting him, so. My wife, is that boring? I'm struggling to think of stuff to write. Ah, it's my life, is that boring? Sorry. Well, I don't know, it feels really personal, like I yeah. shouldn't actually be going through any of this. I'll just it's really sad, actually, isn't it? And he ended up in this. But this is, yeah. yeah, this is pure helplessness, like being stuck here in this building. Like, some serious troubled people have lived here. Mm. And you can see all the evidence because Lost all, hope. all their food is here. Their letters are writing to people. I don't know if they even ever got sent out. But then you see the, the beds and the blankets. I mean, this, think about it. Logically, this was somebody's entire life. Some, yeah. This room. It's really sad that these people have had to call this home now. Yeah. 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 And there's nothing else but this, and it's not, it's not home. And, then and that's what they have. Their whole life is just in these wrappers. I would have presumed this was like on the first COVID lockdown. Yeah. This would have happened. It could be. Because it's been a while. It's such a shame. I just hope he's alright anyway. I think what's sad as well, actually, thinking about it, this is crazy, but even stuff like the tin foods, like how this stuff got to eat yeah. Water. Yeah. So everything actually they have here, they can't technically use, mm -hmm. which is even even sadder, I guess. Of course. Yeah. I don't right. have any needles. So. Yeah. Oh, it does. Trust me, being an addict brings some really dark energies. But. You didn't last time. That just sent chills down there. <laughs> oh. Andrew, what are these? Those are spoons. They're meant for mixing heroin. Ah, oh, right. All right. Yes, you can get them for free at clinics, and that's why they get them all packaged and whatnot. Otherwise, if you don't see those, they'll use spoons, like actual tablespoons. Alright. Yeah. And there's a needle there as well. I will say, okay. so, on top of the, uh, the really bad, which is, well, obviously the abuse that happened to the patients here. We're now dealing with recent turmoil and dark energy 
of addict addiction and homelessness living in these walls as well, which can definitely amp up a negative vibe. Mm. Just a place of sadness, really, isn't it? It is. This entire history, it's just had such a dark past. And even in present, it's not seemed to pass. It's just, it's what it is, isn't it? It's really sad. Oh. Do you not open? Care for an ice cream bar? No, you're right. What was that? What? That was a door. Oh. Right, stick together, guys. It's just a moth. <laughs> What you heard? That's the noise. Did you not hear the door shut? Yeah. That's the same noise. So it closed while we were downstairs, but it should have closed ages ago. That should have closed minutes ago. Hello? Yeah, that was one shot, though, because we just sniffed it. It shuts within 10 seconds of being there. It was already shut anyway before we went down. Yet. That was the noise we heard downstairs. Listen. But the door was already shut when we went down. You should have yeah. back, that's the exact same noise. That's crazy. No, no, you are right, no, I heard it here. You did? Yeah, no, I heard it. Yeah, I was right behind Andrew, I said, what's up? <laughs> Shall we start in here then? Really? Yeah. Okay, there's a tap over there. Can you tap louder? If you're in there, can you just make a noise for us? Mm -hmm. 
Tell us, man. Captain Bat. Captain Bat. Captain Bat. Can you step in that door right there, please? First things first, son. I'm gonna do this. Mark, are you comfortable in the dark? Yeah. Really? Well, you might want to get somewhere that you can see, because otherwise... Can we stay here? No, you, you, can, you can come back if you want. Listen, I can't actually record or see anything on my camera, obviously. Other than Mark holding a red light over there. No, 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 leave it on. There you are, we get pitch black. Now you're free to move around us. Come charge at one of us. Can you make the temperature drop on this? Oh. I heard that click. Can you step into the room, please? Just ask him nicely, can you step into the room? I'm going to turn the light off again for a minute and just see what happens. Can we hear your voice? I see the temperature has dropped three degrees since you moved it away from you. It is possible though that because you were holding it, it was slightly higher. Come on, I know that if we were able to see you, you would be a glowing light unless you were a shadow person. In that case, if you're a shadow person, God help us all because you could literally be stood behind any one of us right now. If you're stood next to one of us, can you tap one of us on the shoulder? No, I'm getting nothing. Oh my god! What the? Oh my god! That was the coldest fucking thing I've ever felt in my life. I literally jumped. Jesus Christ! I kid you not. What happened? Oh my did something, god! Did something that touch you? Oh my god! It's like fucking ice cubes. Holy shit! Did you hear the fucking tap? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. The, the really, really faint, just here, just around this region. So I shit myself thinking it was going to be me, and it, it was Mark. Oh my god! Oh Jesus Christ! I've never felt like my life. Mark, man, I need a heart attack, bro. Yeah, dude. I had the light on oh. so fast, and I jumped up. Oh my god. Oh my god, is that what a ghost feels like? Seriously. You okay? Are you gonna be okay? We'll never fall out of my life, mate. Oh, shit, no, it wasn't horrible. No, 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 the thing is you're shitting me because I honestly I've got any marks. Yeah, I had to yeah, touch yeah, it. Where did it touch you, Sean? Yeah, it went like that, it pushed across my neck. Uh it funny. wasn't violent, it was funny nice. enough, it is slightly red there. Slightly. Oh, <sighs> Oh my god, I'm sweating. Oh, <coughs> scared. I don't think that was a nasty, I don't think that was a nasty spirit. No, 
I don't feel anything negative. Oh, now I'm getting, I'm getting, um, I've got ringing in my ears. Right. What's that? Alright, everyone. Oh, what's it called? Okay, take a second. Take a second. To just. I got ringing in my ears now. Thank you. Okay. Right. Okay, cool. Fucking hell. Shit. Oh my god. Why are you checking? I'm never like that. See, I'm in as well. We were so <laughs> fucking quick. You were like this. Me and I were like that. We were just like, don't move, don't move, don't move. And then I had the. But no, it was even quieter than that. I was like. And I was like, <laughs> and as I squished into her, I shut. Now that gave me a, a good old scare. Do you know, fun fact, every time you get scared, you lose like 100 calories. So if we do this we keep doing another that, 10 yeah. times, I'm going to walk out of why do you think I'm? Why do you think 12. I'm so skinny? I know, that's why I'm so fucking fat, because I don't do the paranormal. Oh my god, that just fell over. That just fell over. The spirit box just fell over. Whoa, I've never felt that in my life. I mean, I can't even explain that. I can't take this seriously because um, I'm actually so in so much shock. I'm actually, I can't process this. Really? Really? Just come over. It wasn't nasty, but it was the shock of it. It was, it was really gentle, but it was so cold. You know um, that saying, someone walks on your grave and you got the whole shiver? Yeah. It was like... I've never felt it, but I know something you're about. Yes, it was, it's like when you have that shiver through your whole body, but it was so cold. It just made me go, whoa! Friend, you do realize what that is. That is not an SP7. That is not an SP11 either. That is a Frank's box. Is it? That is a very rare piece of kit you have there. That's no. the second person I was told you to something completely different. That's a, bro, that's a Frank's box. Those things are rare. Remember, I, I started out researching spirit box. I know a Frank's box when I see one. I thought this was the, I was told that um, someone called um, Sam told me the SP7, whatever. It was placed in here and it had all like modifications done to it. Yeah, okay. but they're called they're called Frank's boxes. Oh, okay. Yeah, but they're inspired off of a spirit box researcher you know, by the name of Frank. So this change your sweep. Yeah. And you got your reverb, your volume. No, these are great. How much do you pay for that? Um hundred pounds. You got it that cheap? Yeah. Alright guys, this is a treasure really to have on the channel. These are very rare. You might want to lift up the antenna a bit, because we are surrounded by concrete. It's the same voice coming through. Can you hold that? I've never... ...felt that to me. Hello? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Whoa. Full sentence. What the fuck? I can hear you. Brilliant, my friend. That was mental. My friend, do you need help? Hold on. Is that saying joy? Enjoy. If you yeah. need help, please say help me. So you're not saying help me. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's like something. If you don't need help, can you confirm? Are you dead or not? Can you say, I heard, I suppose, I am. <gasps> you just said, I am. Can I confirm I'm speaking with the real person now? Uh -huh. That's the same voice. Mm. Fuck you. So useless. Are you a ghost or are you a demon?
clear. Are you ghost or a demon? Are you ghost or a demon? That's my voice. Yeah. That's the spirit we're talking to. Frank Fox is remarkable because the spirit can use its own voice oh. to communicate. Oh, really? Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, you got a rare piece of kit here, bro. Are you still here with us? Actually, fucking what? You actually just moved my bag. All right, so, put it back. So, I just saw it. This bag literally just got pushed off the side. Was... Wow, incredible. That's quite heavy as well. Yeah, I was gonna say it's not exactly the lightest bag, is it? Wow. Right, everyone. I'm thinking that now we've had a, a, a huge chunk of paranormal oh, activity. Oh. Um, <laughs> What I'm gonna do is go ahead and close the video. It's getting late. We have a two hour drive back. Um, I do wanna give a massive thank you to Mark of Ghost Adventures of Cornwall and Haley, of course. Uh, be sure to go check out Ghost Adventures of Cornwall. If you recall from previous videos, he's the one that took us to the Alistair Crowley house. Don't forget to check out Kaylee Colson Explorers as well. If you enjoyed this video and the old school styles of ghost hunts, click this video right here. It's an absolute banger of a video. And with that, I'll end it as we always do.